everybody. Okay, we are live for the Instagram after party with Tiffany Pratt. Hi, Maddie. <laughs> Here comes Tiffany. We're just waiting for her. Here she comes. Here we go. Can I just, now that I can see who Maddie is, this is Maddie's Fab Avenue. Yes! yes! <laughs> Maddie, I love you. <laughs> He's got such a beautiful, infectious spirit. And he does. His enthusiasm and his love and his emphatic, beautiful nature just makes me really happy. So, Maddie, thank you for yeah. being so loving and supportive of myself and many other creatives. You're a beautiful person. Yeah, he is fantastic. I met Maddie at a gift show a few years ago, and um, we connected there, and then he had this fabulous idea to do like a whole uh, collaboration with me we did a whole Instagram story we even posed like sex in the city like oh my god it was so good how did I yeah. miss this yeah I'll send you some pictures you'll love them I, yeah I, I'm not a tv person but I was a sex in the city person and I was just oh there's my girl Camilla <laughs> okay well this is uh -huh. just really special all these cute yeah. peeps Rosie I what's up <laughs> isn't this cool oh I, you know that's the cool thing about these it's interesting this instagram live stuff um yeah i'm always so humbled you know who's tuning in and who's uh paying attention but anyone out there that's just taking a moment and tuning in with the people that they want to tune in with it it's just it's frequency it's energy you know you need mm -hmm. to be in line with that energy so Regardless yeah. of what's said, sometimes it's just nice to just tune in with those people. So anyone that's taking their time to tune in right now, I'm sending you my love. And yeah. my rainbows are shooting out of my hands. <laughs> I can see them. And, and Poppy says hello. <laughs> Poppy, say hello. Poppy, say hello, Rosie. Aww. Poppy is so... Your pictures with Poppy on Instagram are amazing. I have, I wanted to bring my doggie today too, but she's so noisy. She's a jug. So well. she's a, her name's Boink. <laughs> and, <laughs> and you know what? She's a star in my business too. Oh. Like the animals are so amazing. Yeah, Poppy, yeah. well, I've, I've had wiener dogs my whole life. I feel like I speak wiener dog. And ah. just, I've had them since I was a baby. And so when I, my last wiener dog passed, my career kind of kicked up. And again, this is like the power of your, your friend group and your people that are around you. Um, Coco and I are just friends, but we live close by. And so we co-parent Poppy. And, um, and she's just a little love. She, you know, she's like my mascot and his mascot. And that's to anybody out there. You know, you don't have to have this basic relationship to, in order to have the things you want to have. Like if you want a cat or you want a dog or whatever it is, you can do it. You just have to find your right yeah. people. For sure. And you know what's made me so happy, like during all this COVID and all the uncertainty, there are so many people, like my husband and I see people walking their new little dogs around and rescues and right. because people have the time now to give these mm -hmm. animals love and to bring them into their homes. And they can, they do teach you a lot about oh. what is and is not important. Like, don't you love it when you get kind of like, if I get really worked up over something, I just look at Boink and she's looking at me like, mom, really? You doing that again? Like, she's like, you get, a, she's like get a grip. Get a grip. <laughs> yeah. Like chill out, man. <laughs> well, Pops, yeah. Pops is always like, she, what I realize is she's my mirror. So when ah. I, when I get, excited and running around and doing all my things she starts following around me and you know buzzing around but when I know my energy is relaxed she just lays in her bed and falls asleep so yeah. I I kind of look at her as my she's my touchstone like I know how I'm how I'm feeling is how she's feeling mm -hmm. and so and animals too are a reflection of who we are because they're living in our energy sphere so I really take very like Poppy is like I'm I'm a crazy I'm one of those crazy wiener dog ladies. I am loco. <laughs> like I am I'm one of those people. Oh yeah. well I've seen Poppy's got some nice little outfits. Yeah, Poppy's Poppy's got uh you know, like, whatever she wants to do. She tells me what's up. She's in charge. Yeah. Oh my goodness, my friend Jen from Living Lux, I love you. I can't believe you came on. <laughs> 
I, I that's just so want to keep. I just want to keep saying to every single person that's tuning in, I love you and I appreciate your time and your energy and your willingness to just take a moment out of your day and tune in because maybe you don't know Monica, but she's an amazing lady and she's Aww. doing really cool things as is Jen, by the way, Monica, you should check it out every Friday. She has an amazing guest on her Instagram and her oh, Instagram cool. live has just been like stacked for months. It's like, Oh, I'll have to you, check should, her out. you should check it out. But, yeah. um, but the punchline though is, and I was saying this earlier is um, the people that we love, the people that we want to surround ourselves with, the people we want to mm -hmm. tune into, they're giving us something. And, and Monica, I wanted to do this with you because I wanted to support you. You know, you're a beautiful creative. You've been filled with such love and enthusiasm. You are so filled with creativity. You're so generous with yourself and you deserve to get that back. Oh, thank so, you. And just anyone that's listening, I think we, we have to do that for each other is we have mm -hmm. to give whatever it is that we have away or restore the energy that we've taken from something or someone so Absolutely. that we understand that it, this life is, is a cyclical reciprocal thing. So yeah. I am sending love to everyone. I'm uh, tuning in because I am grateful for the time. But, um, you know, guys, Toronto's getting kicked back up. We got the, the T-Dots coming back because I know you're in the Burles. Yeah. And you guys have been open for a couple, what, like a week? Yes. Yeah. Okay. For a week. I think Friday the malls started opening. I think there's maybe a couple of patios open now. Um, but I escaped north and uh, I need more color now that I'm looking at you too. I need more tan. You know I was, what? I, this is oh. not good. I was down, at, I live down on, at, in the beach here in Toronto. Yeah. And I have uh -huh. a dog, and I um, I've been out paddleboarding a lot. Oh, yeah. So when you're outside, and the other day I didn't look so fresh. Let me tell you, I looked so <laughs> charred. Like this <laughs> this color, it's making me look tan. But let me tell you, the other day I was the same color as my hair. I'm like, this is not a good look. Oh God, yeah, you got to get the sunscreen on. Good for you being out on the water. That's yeah. so magical. We uh, we were kayaking on the weekend, and I'm like, God, this water is just like healing me from top to bottom. You well, know? anyone that's in the Toronto area, my friend has a stand up paddleboard um, area here, and it's called What's What's Up Toronto. And, um, and it's just, you go there and you can rent a paddle for a half hour. You can go there for an hour. It doesn't matter. But I love, I mean, I've been paddling for a very long time now. And I, I mean, I'm not advertising it, but it's part of just getting on the board, getting outside, smelling fresh air, being on the water, um, seeing the city from a new perspective. Mm -hmm. um, I just, anyone out there, I can't say enough that, you know, get into nature, walk. Yes touch trees, touch their bark, touch the leaves, like connect mm -hmm. with nature, put your feet in the water, touch some sand, take your shoes off. Because yeah. um, that's, I think what a lot of people are missing right now, which is our, our connection to our, our earth energy. It, it restores us. It makes us feel better. So sometimes, you know, I'm not really feeling like it, but I'm like, okay, screw it. I'm going to go out and I always feel better. So um, if I could give anyone some, some hot summer tips is just like you know don't worry about the makeup don't worry about the whatever clothes just get outside yeah. and take in nature and or get out of the city and go find some nature yeah that yeah. is such great advice it is a magical place out there and the birds now there's more birds than ever we saw oh. blue birds on the weekend they were like electric blue i've never seen that before so like, but see, see how nature oh, is coming back to us. Yes. You know, we've given nature space. We've given nature quiet. And that actually is, is a great thing to reflect on, which is our true nature as a human. When we give ourselves space and we give ourselves quiet, things can return to us. Right. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So like we have given nature some quiet time and we've given nature a pause and we're getting this beautiful bounty of just nature coming forward, clarity, air, birds, animals, everyone's coming forth. Um, yeah. So I think we should treat ourselves like we're trying, like we're forcibly treating the planet. I know there's a lot of people that don't really know me, but I am just a raging earth child. You're probably yeah. learning this about me right now, Monica. Well, I figured you were. You did? 
Yes, because you know why? Because of all of the color you surround yourself with. I'm like, there's only one place that comes from, and it's called nature. And if you don't know anything about nature, you don't know how to put colors together. And I attribute that to my design. I, like my design abilities is that my mom and dad were like, get your ass outside. And it's part of it's like I think the nature girls know each other. Like yeah, we do. I can't even in the winter. I don't give a crap. There was like a full moon, and I had to go and I had to look at it, and I had to ask for stuff. And it was ten thirty at night, and I yep. put the big scarf on, and I'm out there, like because it's but magic. We don't get that anywhere else. This is it. Anyone that's listening yeah. is that we're always looking outside of ourselves for the for the mm -hmm. true magic, but the true magic is already here. You know? Yeah. Oh my God. I can't oh. believe it. Is that a blast from the past? Yes. Oh. Oh my <laughs> God. I get so emotional when I see who shows up for these things. I miss you too. Um, okay. But but I think that it all the magic is truly is within and it's around yeah. us. And we just have to tap into that source. Yeah. Um, and it's an interesting thing because I hope that anyone walking out of this experience that we've had for the fa past four months can really dig into the, the concept that this is all for the greater good. Every bad thing that's happened, every dark place we've been to, everything we've had to dig up internally and externally, all of it is here for us to do the work that we need to do in order to move forward. And if we would not have had this force quit, we would never have done it. Present company included. Like I'm yeah. doing, I've restored myself doing things that I have not done in so many years. And I'm so humbled. I'm like deep bowing to this virus because I would never have done it. So yeah. um, let's all just live in the gratitude place of like what we would have not done. Yes. If we I didn't have this time. That's right. So, right. Oh, Amazing. And shout out. I want to do one last <laughs> shout out. Yes. One last shout out. I think anyone that's listening, help the peoples. Just do whatever you can. If you see someone on the road that needs help, if you have an old person in your life, if there's somebody that you can just call and give them love or send them a little rainbow, or if there's some planetary thing that you can do that's going to help preserve our planet, if there are hungry people, if there's mm -hmm. anybody of color that you can stand up for and you could activate or you could support in this time, if there's anybody out there in any way ailing from anything in their life, we've had time and we've had an opportunity to restore ourselves. So it's time to start giving. So yes. if I want to leave this call and I've had a moment to talk to a handful of people, I just want to say, Let's, let's stand for the things that we stand for. Let's be good to the people we need to be good to and start with being good to ourselves. I love it. That is the perfect ending. <laughs> you are, that is so awesome. I love, exactly you, I love you, Monica. I love you, Moa. Listen, we'll talk again soon. Sister, and I think you and I should do a collab. I don't know what it's going to be yet, but stay tuned for the Glam okay. collab. All right, ask the angels. Oh, I, I already have oh. an idea. Oh, you do? You're way yeah. ahead of me. All right. I we'll can't talk. wait. <laughs> um, okay. But until then, every single person joining this live, everyone shooting hearts, I'm shooting them all at you. I love you all very, very much. Please enjoy this beautiful day. Get outside and uh, check out Monica. Follow her. See what she's up to. And Monica, thanks for thinking of me. Oh, God. Thank you so much. So inspirational. I will be saving this to the IGTV so people can watch anytime. Ah, uh, okay. Well, if you do, yeah. I hope I can share. But either way, I love yeah. everybody. <laughs> I love all of you so much. We love you, Tiffany Pratt. Thank you so much for your time. And good luck today with everything else on the agenda. Thank you. And I hope you get out in nature, too. Well, I'm sure you to, will. Poppy has to go pee, so we're heading out. Oh, yeah. Get out there. <laughs> Love you guys. Bye. Love you. Bye. Bye.